Guys, I'm really liking this draft. Oh my goodness, the Vancouver Canucks just took, with their 37th overall pick, Jet Wu from the Moose Jaw Warriors of the WHL. This is great. I just got up, ran out of bed, and looked at the notification, Vancouver drafts Jet Wu. This is awesome. And the reason it's awesome is because this could have legitimately been a first-round talent. If you look at some of the mock drafts, they had Jet Wu going in the 20-something range. Future Considerations had Wu at 26. And DraftSite.com had Jet Wu going 22nd overall to the Ottawa Senators. So Jet Wu is a player who could have been a first-round talent. This is basically a why isn't anyone taking Cole in situation here because Jet Wu is a legitimately good player. He's a guy who was playing for the Moose Jaw Warriors this past season, and with the Warriors, he was basically eclipsed by really good defender number like 5 in PNHLE, LA Kings defenseman prospect Kale Clegg, and Josh Brook as well. Jet Wu is a guy who's physical. He is arguably the most physical player in the draft, and he's a defenseman, a right-handed defenseman as well. He's got a good frame, 6 feet tall and 201 pounds. He's a guy with size, and he's a guy who plays physical, and he's young too. His birthday's coming up later in July, he's still 17. This is legitimately a player that the Vancouver Canucks definitely benefit from taking. He's a right-handed defenseman who is great physically. Don't get me wrong, it's not just the physicality that is his strengths here. He got 25 points in 44 games with the Warriors. He's a player who, if you watch some of his highlights, he's actually got some pretty good offensive visioning, a good shot, and some nice hands. He's a guy who really does actually have skill when it comes to the offensive side of his game. And his skating is pretty good as well. I think the Vancouver Canucks have done a really good job thus far in this draft choosing guys who are good at skating. Obviously, Quinn Hughes is the best skater in the draft. Jet Wu isn't necessarily a bad one. He's pretty good. And he's a guy who really is just a nice player to have on your team. He does a lot of things right. Super physical, defenseman, right-handed, so he's going to be there in your defensive zone. And he's good with the puck and his footwork. Jet Wu is a Vancouver Canuck. Obviously, he's got the best name of the draft as well, by some people's standards, and I'm really happy to see him with the team, considering the fact that he was ranked in his peak in the mid-20s and in his base, usually in like the mid-40s. The Vancouver Canucks picked him up at 37, which is pretty good. Considering the fact that he could have been a first-round talent, we could have easily had another why-isn't-anyone-taking-Jet-Wu situation here. He's a guy who's got actual Team Canada history, too. In a few Canada tournaments, playing for the under-17 team, under-18 team, he was serving as the captain on some levels. He had the alternate captaincy at the Ivan Hlinka Memorial Tournament this past season. He's a guy who genuinely does have talent, and... It's going to be interesting to see what happens with him next year when his other, older, more opportunity-given defensemen are taken away from the team because they're overagers and everything. Jet Wu is still 17. So once he's been given an opportunity to actually step up and given more ice time, more minutes, more opportunities, things are going to be really great for Vancouver Canucks observers watching him play. I just really like this, you know? Quinn Hughes and Jet Wu in the same draft? It's not just Oli Olevi anymore, guys. Our defensive core is stepping up. If we can draft, like, another defenseman in the third round, we'd actually be set, to be honest. Wow, I'm just thinking about it. That's great. Hope you guys enjoy this. Here's your boss. Gaming. And bye. <laughs>